guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of leo sun moon rising venus leo i'm going to jump in here with an oracle card from colette baron reed has a brand new deck it is called guides of the hidden realms it, it is born out of a collection of paintings that she did um where she received images and messages um from guides and hey house said let's make it a duck but of course and here we are so let's see what comes through for you here oh this is lovely you get card number one this was her first painting serenity out of exile and the messages are exhale surrender and radical acceptance and i love that it has the full moon there because um I just uploaded the full moon reading, uh, full moon in Capricorn reading. So if you missed it, go watch that. We have two full moon in two full moons in the sign of Capricorn back to back. This doesn't happen very often. So this is part one, and part two will be like July twenty first. So check out part one. Messages were pretty powerful. So here is your oracle message. Serenity out of exile says, sustained uncertainty can lead to hypervigilance where you spend most of your energy on patrol against potential threats from the outside world. In trying to protect yourself, you've banished yourself to the brackish watery depths caught within a tangle of prickly brambles that you can't see a way through. You've walled yourself off from the world and your connection to your higher power. Yet there are pearls submerged within you, hidden in those branches, a reminder of how far you've come despite this temporary experience. It's time to leave the seductive state of hyper-awareness and re-enter your life with full permission to rest and cultivate inner peace. The challenge comes from within. Know that you are worthy and nothing is worth depleting yourself for. Stop waiting for the other shoe to drop. The past doesn't have to repeat itself. When you know your worth, your choices will be in alignment with your destiny. Allow yourself to trust and to choose something new and beautiful. Then the next right action will be revealed. Breathe, fall back, and keep your heart open. Allow serenity to take its place within you once again. Give yourself this gift. Gather your pearls. Oh, <laughs> that's like my new mantra. Gather your pearls. I love that for you, Leo. I have so much Leo in my chart. So I claim this alongside of you. Um, those of you watching, beautiful message. Card number one, of course, full moon in Capricorn, which is talking about... The 10th house themes of right the opposite the sun we have the sun in cancer fourth house themes of home family our inner life our inner world our private life 10th house themes of career ambition achievement our you know external persona so really powerful themes here um yeah i'm a little emotional these days <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Sun is in Cancer and Laura falls apart. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, pull my split soulmate spread. Whichever side speaks to you is fine. It can come through reverse, so don't sweat it. I'll uh, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Come on, cards. Let's not make an idiot out of me. Okay, here we go. One more shuffle. Oh, by the way, Leo, uh, you get the next bonus reading. So Virgo was two months ago. This month was, or Virgo was last month. Aries was this month. You get a bonus reading next month for being the longest um, sustained high viewing sign. So let's just... Let me thank you for that. First of all, um, things have gotten a little rocky here on YouTube. The algorithm has changed and the algorithm and they shared it with us, quite frankly, is promoting new channels and um, shorts. So that's their focus. And that leaves the rest of us that are kind of 
humming along here, but you know, I'm under 100,000 subscribers, so I'm not going to get any attention unless you all keep watching. Subscribe if you haven't, please, by all means, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't. It doesn't cost you a thing. Thank you. Because, uh, wow, like in the last two months, and it's not just me, you'll hear other readers say it. A lot of channels are taking a nosedive right now, and it, it, um, it's been difficult. So, let's jump in, shall we? Here we go. Overall energy, Knight of Swords. Wow, um, something coming at you fast here, possibly. Uh, messages of truth, something to clear up a misunderstanding. Yes, I see this. Oh, wow. Between you and your beloved. Oh, my goodness. Knight of Swords, that Gemini energy. We just came through Gemini season, but it feels to me like there's something that's building up where um, uh, communication has to take place. Um for your person, they are showing up with Nine of Swords energy. Nine of Swords is like their mind is an overdrive. This is about um, sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, something that's running on a loop in their mind and their blocker challenge is it's, it's got them all over the map. Seven of Cups, it's confusing them. So these two, you know, two cards together, the Nine of Swords. Oh my God, I'm so emotional. And the Seven of Cups is anxiety, it feels like situational anxiety and depression may be coming forward. Um, I don't diagnose here, though I'm, in, uh, I'm certified too, um, by way of my psychotherapeutic background. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something that is happening for this person in real time where they're riding some highs and lows. And the opportunity for them hello Virgo in the hermit is to sort of pull back and go within and sort of um yeah serenity out of exile this is a card that feels like exile and it also feels like this person's path to inner peace because they're not getting any right now is to understand themselves better so they're being invited to sort of pull back and um, take some time for introspection, uh, self-exploration, a radical self-inventory. Like, what am I bringing to the party? What is happening with me? Um, very interesting. So that the truths can be spoken into existence. You are stepping in here, two of cups. You're focused on this connection. The blocker challenges, things are moving really slow right? What you have been anticipating coming towards you is just feels like it's mo either moving through quicksand or in slow-mo on some level. And so the opportunity for you uh, coming up in the near future is the fool, which is sort of assessing the risks and then going for broke. Take the leap. Here we go. Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands, Two of Cups again, Five of Wands. Um, I'm getting a, a sense that there's been some conflict potentially involving a karmic partner. There could be a third party scenario here um, that has to be cleared up. So uh, this is, you know, a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. And also third party doesn't always mean a person. A third party can be distance. A third party can re be religious differences. A third party can be meddlesome family, obligations, responsibilities, work. So take it as it resonates for you, but I'm telling you this Queen of Wands has been coming through quite recently as like a spoiler on some level. And since we're looking underneath it, the conflict that's being caused here and you know what needs to be cleaned up, the I said it the other day to another sign, the elephant in the room is this queen of wands, is, is some form of a karmic um, energy. Let's see the nine of swords for your person. Knight of pentacles, wow. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. So your blocker challenge is whoever this is, they're coming toward you very slowly. And it makes, it helps explain the nine of swords. It is like this person um, trying to stay optimistic, maybe wanting to reach out to you even. The page of wands is usually more impulsive, is usually in it for the minute. But here it's like, no, this person is battling two different energies. The mature energy is saying, you have got to really begin with the end in mind and know what your end goal is. You don't, you cannot make any mistakes. But the other part of their personality is like, but I want it. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like this is Aries Leo um, Sagittarian energy. So it feels like the fire impulsivity because it is about the happiness that this person imagines they could have with you. Oh, I know. So, uh, of course, their block or challenge here with the Seven of Cups is a lot of mixed messages, confusion um overwhelm options even yes two of pentacles what do i do which path do i take they're getting this hermit again um for some of you this is a leo virgo dynamic flat out like because the knight of pentacles is now out twice and the knight of pentacles is virgo hermit energy is out twice and that is virgo so we have virgo four times here already Yes, this person, the blocker challenge is about assessing realities on the ground so they can make a decision. Um, the world card, Saturn, lessons being learned, endings bring new beginnings, but they need a little bit of time on their own. Uh, that, that energy of the hermit underneath is the answer to the seven of cups. Like, what do I do? How will I know I'm making the best decision? I don't want to make a mistake. Well, spend a little time on your own and go inward, young man. It's not out there. The answers are not outside this person. They have to take a little time out and go within. It does feel like this person sees it um, as a form of exile to disengage from the world as it were a little bit. Um, but what I'm seeing here is through this, this radical acceptance of who they are, what they've, you know, how they operate in the world, um, what their purpose is, how, how has all of this unfolded, this confusion, this chaos, right? You can't get it looking outside yourself. You must go within. So let's see the hermit. Nine of wands, three of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So this person may not be clear yet, yet that if they begin with the end in mind, it will bring them the future that they desire, right? The, um, the abundance, um, the legacy they're trying to create, their vision of what a happy future is. Both these cards from the bottom of the deck. They can't get there unless they understand themselves better. I'll say that. So we have their opportunity is to kind of persevere, um, spend a little time on their own self-reflection, introspection, self-awareness, so they know where things stand, how they can be um, more invested in a connection that can go the distance. Oof. And here you are with the Two of Cups. Nine of Cups, Tower, right, Eight of Swords. So what I'm seeing here is the, um, how shall I say, the complacency 
of this person who seems to kind of be two steps forward, three steps back. And they get confused and because they really haven't, um, I'm being honest here, they really haven't, like, if you're going to move slow, that's fine, provided you know the path that you're walking, right? Because you can move slow and be headed toward disaster. And that's what I think has happened, the disaster based on some form of complacency and leaving you feeling stuck, leaving you feeling um, like you don't know your next best step because what you thought was going to unfold did not in fact unfold with regard to your connection. So as you sit here in your blocker challenge, you're not sure of your next best step. You are second guessing every little thing and things are moving so slow that there's nowhere to go with any of it. So let's see the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, King of Cups. You're dealing with someone here who's very avoidant. Not really wanting to reveal their feelings. King of Cups can really struggle not just with communicating their feelings but with being emotionally available and that's what I'm seeing here and all of a sudden you're seeing that clearly you're like oh this is moving at a snail's pace because this person is really showing nothing but avoidance of and complacency with regards to ex understanding what they feel, acting on what they feel, expressing what they feel. This is someone who doesn't live very comfortably in the land of feelings and emotions. And so will generally run the other way. Um, let's see the fool for you in the near future. That's why they're all confused and like, I don't know what's up from what's down. beautiful so as this person i'm going back here as this person in their opportunity um, is invited to kind of stay in the struggle for personal growth for introspection self-awareness right and it's gonna be a struggle this person it's like you know that saying the unexamined life is not worth living this person has made it an art form to not examine themselves, their life, their, you know, their point of view, the way they operate in the world. And therefore they're not cooperative, right? They're not a co-creator. They, this is somebody who now realizes, oh my gosh, this is so different. This is a hard lesson I'm learning. And if I want this happy future or this abundant future or life partnership that brings me this kind of level of bliss and joy, I better, you know, get to know myself more. So I know my motivations. I, I know what I am, um, where I'm creating more conflict than needs to exist, right? And here's the conflict, is there avoidant. Feelings are there and they run deep, but they don't, they don't want to deal with it. And so that's a block or challenge for you because you can't do anything about that. <laughs> You're available for this connection. Yes, you are. And unfortunately, complacency uh, has brought around, brought about um, some eye-opening cracks in the foundation, the unsustainability. Wow. And I am still seeing karmic energy here. So what that means is this person has to make a choice about the future that they want and who they want that with. And what your message for the future is be prepared because you just may be manifesting everything you ever wanted 
and it might come as a bit of a surprise. So the full energy is the planet Uranus, you know, the full is associated with the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. But Uranus is the planet of surprise, right? Breakthroughs, pivots, expect the unexpected, anything can happen and probably will. So it's something you're manifesting here, bringing this person in with all their emotional vulnerability and availability to bear. And it's gonna come because they're gonna take the time to look inward, look at themselves in the mirror instead of externalizing everything. So this is a very interesting turn, Leo. Um, I'm gonna take this to the extended. I sort of wanna see this person, I'm gonna call them for lack of a better phrase, for now, I'm gonna call this person the Knight of Pentacles because that's what's coming through the strongest. Yes, they're the King of Cups, and, oh, but to get a handle on where things are sort of slowed down to a crawl, Knight of Pentacles. We're looking at it from their point of view and what are they processing and how do they see you, think about you, feel about you and what are their intentions toward you in this connection going forward. The links to that extended are below. One link says Leo Monthly. That is a monthly membership and you get access to four collections. So be sure you read that so you know what you're getting into. The link below that says one time purchase for this extended only, keep that in mind. Okay, so also, um, yeah, again, I'm going to repeat myself. If you want to see more of my readings, if you want me to hang around on the channel, please subscribe below and click that little notification bell. Go back and watch some things you maybe have missed or um, want to do like a second pass on. Don't forget to watch the full moon reading in Capricorn that I uploaded yesterday. So there you go. All right, here we have the Knight of Swords is Gemini. Queen of Wands is associated with Aries. We've got the Knight of Pentacles twice, as I said, Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Page of Wands. The world card is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Um, Hermit is out twice, Virgo energy. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Um, King of Cups is Scorpio. The Fool, as I said, is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. The Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. A lot of Virgo energy in this reading. And closing out with our Knight of Cups is Pisces. That's what I have for you. Heading to the extended now. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for your bonus reading. I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.